I am sure you have wondered how it would be if we could manipulate individual molecules to construct complex structures. Welcome to the realm of nanotechnology, a field that operates on an incredibly minute scale, one billionth of a meter to be exact. Just picture this. If a nanoparticle was the size of a football, then a human hair would be as big as a football field. It's an entirely different world down there, where the usual rules of science take on a whole new dimension. But what exactly is nanotechnology? It's a multidisciplinary field that deals with the manipulation and control of matter on the nanoscale to create new and unique materials and devices. From medicine to environmental science to computing, nanotechnology has the potential to revolutionize entire industries and our everyday lives. Now, let's delve a little deeper and explore a fascinating subfield of nanotechnology, molecular nanotechnology. This branch envisions the precise control and manipulation of individual molecules to build complex structures. It's akin to building with Lego blocks, but on an atomic scale. Imagine being able to design and assemble materials atom by atom, giving us unprecedented control over the properties and functionality of the resulting nanomaterials. It's a concept that's as mind-boggling as it is revolutionary. The possibilities are endless. Molecular nanotechnology could lead to incredibly lightweight yet strong materials for construction or transport. It could create highly efficient energy storage systems or even revolutionize medicine by allowing us to design custom drugs on a molecular level. However, like any emerging technology, molecular nanotechnology also presents challenges. We need to develop precise and reliable ways to manipulate atoms, understand the properties of materials at the nanoscale and ensure the safe use of nanomaterials. But the promise of this technology is too great to ignore. As we stand on the brink of this new frontier, the question isn't if we will master molecular nanotechnology, but when. Today, we dive deep into the fascinating world of molecular nanotechnology where science meets the unimaginable. Molecular nanotechnology is not just a phrase, it is a pathway to a future where we can control the very building blocks of matter. Picture a world where we can manipulate individual atoms to create complex structures where we can design and engineer materials with unprecedented precision. That's the promise of molecular nanotechnology. At its core, molecular nanotechnology is about precision. Imagine a sculptor, but instead of chiseling away at a block of marble, they're working with individual molecules. They can place each atom exactly where they want it, creating structures that are impossible with traditional manufacturing techniques. This isn't just about making things smaller, though that's certainly part of it. It's about making things better, because when you can control the structure of a material at the atomic level, you can tailor its properties to your exact needs. Need a material that's lightweight but incredibly strong? No problem. How about a substance that can change its shape in response to a signal? With molecular nanotechnology, it's all within our reach. But with such power comes significant challenges. For one, working at the molecular level requires an immense amount of precision. Even the tiniest mistake can have huge consequences. And then, there's the question of scale. How do you mass produce something that's built atom by atom? Despite these hurdles, the potential benefits of molecular nanotechnology are too great to ignore. It could revolutionize everything from medicine to energy production, creating solutions to some of our most pressing problems. And while we're still in the early stages of this technology, researchers around the world are making exciting progress every day. Molecular nanotechnology may sound like science fiction, but it's becoming more real with each passing day. We are on the brink of a new era, one where we can harness the power of the atom to create materials and devices that are unlike anything we've seen before. The journey of molecular nanotechnology begins with the design and assembly of materials at the atomic level. As we delve deeper into this fascinating world, we'll see how this journey is unfolding and where it might take us in the not so distant future. The process of molecular nanotechnology might sound complex, but it all starts with a single atom. Indeed, it's the humble atom that serves as the building block in this intricate dance of science. Picture this. Each atom is like a bead, and molecular nanotechnology is the process of stringing these beads together to form a necklace, or in scientific terms, a complex structure. So, how do we go about this? Well, the first step is to design and assemble the materials at an atomic level. Using sophisticated tools and techniques, Scientists can manipulate individual atoms, arranging them in specific patterns to form a blueprint. This blueprint is the plan for our necklace, detailing which bead goes where and in what order. 
Next, we move on to the assembly phase. This is the stage where the blueprint comes to life. Using a technique known as positional assembly, the atoms are meticulously put together one by one to form the desired structure. This process requires an immense level of precision and control. It's akin to threading a needle, except the needle is an atom and the thread is another atom. Following assembly, we have the creation of complex structures. This is where things really start to get interesting. The atomic structures we've assembled are used as building blocks to create larger, more complex structures. Imagine using Lego bricks to build a castle, each brick representing an atomic structure. It's a similar concept, but on a nanoscale. Now you may be wondering, why go through all this trouble to build structures atom by atom? The answer lies in the unprecedented control we gain over the properties and functionality of the resulting nanomaterials. By building materials from the ground up, we can tailor their properties to suit specific needs. For instance, we can engineer materials to be more durable, more conductive or more responsive to environmental changes. The possibilities are only limited by our imagination. But as with any scientific endeavor, there are challenges, the main one being the sheer scale of the task. We're talking about manipulating and assembling billions of atoms to create a single complex structure. It's a task that requires not just precision, but also an immense amount of patience and perseverance. Despite these challenges, the potential rewards are enormous. Molecular nanotechnology has the potential to revolutionize industries, from medicine and electronics to energy and environmental science. It's a field that's still in its infancy, but the possibilities are endless. In the end, it's all about taking the world as we know it and seeing it in a whole new light. It's about seeing the potential in the smallest of things and using that potential to create something bigger, something better. Through this intricate process, we gain an unprecedented control over the properties and functionality of the resulting nanomaterials. We've journeyed through the process of molecular nanotechnology and it's time to summarize what we've learned. In the vast universe of nanotechnology, molecular nanotechnology holds a unique position. It's not just about shrinking things down to the nanoscale. It's about the intricate manipulation of individual molecules, building complex structures with an atomic level of precision. We've delved into the concept of molecular nanotechnology learning how it allows us to design and assemble materials atom by atom. This precision grants us unprecedented control over the properties and functionality of the resulting nanomaterials. It's like playing with building blocks, but the blocks are atoms and molecules, and the playground is the nanoscale universe. The potential applications of this technology are mind-boggling. From revolutionizing medicine, through targeted drug delivery and tissue regeneration, to transforming the energy sector with efficient solar cells and batteries, the possibilities seem endless. We've even discussed how molecular nanotechnology could play a role in environmental conservation, enabling us to create materials that can clean up pollution or capture carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. We've walked through the step-by-step -step process of molecular nanotechnology, understanding the complexities of manipulating molecules at such a tiny scale. It's a process that requires immense skill sophisticated equipment, and a deep understanding of the principles of physics and chemistry. However, like any pioneering technology, molecular nanotechnology comes with its set of challenges. There are technical hurdles to overcome, ethical issues to consider, and regulatory frameworks to establish. But the potential benefits are worth the effort. Remember, molecular nanotechnology isn't about creating a miniature world. It's about harnessing the power of the nanoscale to solve macroscale problems, to create materials and devices that can revolutionize our lives, our industries, and our planet. Molecular nanotechnology is not a mere concept. It's a promising path towards a future of limitless possibilities. The world of molecular nanotechnology is as vast as it is fascinating. It's like an intricate dance of atoms, choreographed to perfection, promising a future where we have mastery over the smallest building blocks of matter. The precision and control it offers is unprecedented, paving the way for breakthroughs in fields as diverse as medicine, energy and electronics. Imagine a world where we can construct materials atom by atom, tailoring them to exhibit the exact properties we desire. That's the power of molecular nanotechnology. We're not just observers in the grand theatre of the universe, but 
active participants shaping and molding the world around us in ways once thought impossible. But like every great journey, it begins with a single step. And today, we've taken you through some of these initial steps, offering a glimpse into a laboratory where the magic of molecular nanotechnology unfolds. As we continue to push the boundaries of science, we inch closer to a future where we can manipulate matter at the most fundamental level,